I thought it would be fitting to make the next F1 Driver Files episode to be about Justin Wilson since he is one of only three drivers to have competed in Formula 1 in just the one year of 2003 just like Ralph Furman who I did the last episode on. Nicholas Chiesa is that third driver if you're curious as well. But back to Justin Wilson, he started his car racing career in Formula Vauxhall Junior Series in 1995, but he would miss the early stages of the season due to suffering leg and wrist injuries in a crash in testing at Brands Hatch during the preseason. He then competed in the main Formula Vauxhall Series in 1996, where he'd finish runner-up. As Wilson struggled for funds in the coming years, he would have to settle for the inaugural Formula Palmer Audi Series in 1998 where he'd become the first ever champion in this series. Another reason why Justin Wilson would struggle to find a seat in a higher category was due to his massive height for a racing driver being 6 foot 4 which makes things hard to accommodate for single seater events. He was finally able to get funding for the International Formula 3000 in 1999 but his golden season wouldn't come until 2001 where he emphatically claimed the International Formula 3000 title, winning three races for the year as well as finishing second six times. In fact, Wilson hadn't finished below second for seven of the last eight races that year. He beat out several future F1 drivers like Mark Webber, Sebastian Bourdais and Giorgio Pantano for the title. He did testing for Jordan in 2001 but did not get the seat for the 2002 season as that seat ended up going to Takuma Sato because of finances. Wilson even tried acquiring a vacant Minardi seat but Formula 3000 rival Mark Webber was the one to claim that seat. So he had to settle for the World Series by Nissan Championship where he'd finished fourth. Wilson was actually meant to replace struggling Alex Jung after the German Grand Prix but he wasn't able to because he wasn't able to fit into the car because of his height. I actually feel really bad for Justin here, particularly when you can't get a drive due to something that you can't control. 2003 was the year where all of Wilson's hard work paid its dividends as Wilson would finally become AF1 driver at Minardi thanks to his dad actually mortgaging his own home and later on an investment fund where people could buy shares in Wilson which kept him in F1 past the first two rounds. Wilson had a very forgettable start in F1, retiring in all of the first four races of the season and generally during the first four races, experienced teammate Josh Verstappen was the better performer out of the two. But this would change from the Spanish Grand Prix onwards as Wilson started to get the upper hand in the Minardi duel. Wilson finished 11th in the Spanish Grand Prix and although Verstappen was the better qualifier out of the two, Wilson was generally better on race day and his good performances were rewarded with a drive at Jaguar for the final five races of the season as Jaguar opted to get Wilson in for a struggling Antonio Pizzonia. Similar to the start of the season, Wilson was hit with three retirements in the first three races with Jaguar, with either gearbox or engine problems. But Wilson would make up for this scoring a point in the United States Grand Prix with a very well deserved 8th place finish. Wilson qualified a career best 10th at the final race of the season in Japan but would finish an uneventful 13th and was considerably slower than Weber for the majority of the time, partly due to being thrown in the deep end in a different car at such a late stage in the season. Wilson finished 20th in the championship with a singular point. At the end of the season, Jaguar wanted to keep Wilson for the 2004 season, but Ford, who owned Jaguar, demanded Jaguar get a pay driver, so he ended up losing his seat to Christian Kleon. Wilson then competed in the Champ Car World Series between 2004 and 2007. Wilson finished in the top three for the 2005, 2006 and 2007 championships, with third in 05, second in both 06 and 07 losing out to Sebastian Bourdais for each of these championships. In fact, Bourdain had actually won every single season of Champ Car in which Wilson had competed in for those four seasons. Wilson in 2008 would then compete in the newly branded IndyCar series, which was a merger between Indy Racing League and the struggling Champ Car to create the one racing championship. He did not have the same success in the newly branded competition as he did in the Champ Cars with his best championship standings finish of 6th in 2013. It was also in 2013 where he had his best race in the Indy 500 finishing 5th. 
He'd also have a singular race in Formula E in 2015 at Moscow, finishing 10th and getting a singular point. Tragically, on August 23rd, 2015, in the 2015 ABC Supply 500, Justin Wilson had his helmet struck by a ricochet nose cone and crashed into the wall. The nose cone which had hit Wilson had been torn off the car by race leader Sage Karam after he crashed into the outside wall. Sadly, Wilson passed away from his traumatic injuries to the head the next day, aged 37. Justin Wilson will always be remembered for being a highly likeable guy on the paddock and for being one of the kindest human beings that you could ever meet. Rest in peace, Justin.